The man accused of murdering Judy Malinowski appeared in a Franklin County courtroom this morning. Michael Slager is now facing the death penalty in the case. He's charged with capital murder after he doused Malinowski with gas and set her on fire. He's already serving jail time for the assault, but she died earlier this year after spending nearly two years in the hospital. NBC Force Courtney Yoon is joining us live now from downtown to tell us what happened today inside that courtroom. Courtney. Colleen, after today's hearing, we now have a tentative trial date set for July 6th of next year. Bonnie Bowes, Judy's mother, was also there today, and she says she's still fighting to make sure her daughter's voice is heard inside of the courtroom. I'm still hopeful that Judy's testimony will be unsealed and she'll be able to tell her story in her words. Bonnie Bowes says there's no one better to tell Judy's story than Judy herself. A month before she died, Judy Malinowski recorded a deposition from her hospital bed. I think that because she's gone, why would we not let her tell her story? Certainly he's going to be able to tell his story, whether it's through the attorneys or whether it's he actually takes the stand. Franklin County Prosecutor Ron O'Brien says they believe Judy's testimony should be allowed in court. Michael Slager's attorney, Mark Collins, says they're trying to keep the deposition out. An element in a murder case is what the cause of death. So how can you cross-examine someone about the cause of death if the death hasn't occurred yet? Today, Judge Reese also asked about the possibility of a venue change since this case has received so much attention. We will file a motion to change venue, but the court can't rule on that until you actually try to attempt to seat a jury. The I-270 shooter, we selected a jury in that case that received uh, national publicity. We believe that a fair and impartial jury can be selected in this case here in Franklin County so that there's no need for a change of venue. Coming up at 6 tonight, Bonnie Bose tells us about Judy's daughters and their plan to raise enough money to create a nonprofit foundation in their mother's name. Live in Columbus, Courtney Yoon, NBC4. Thank you, Courtney.